Welcome back people. Hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you have not watched it yet, please do check it out. So, in today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will terrify you. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And yes, if you don't want to miss our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first scary video comes from the channel Ak Exploration. The group arrived at this location to look into the big opera house's reputed paranormal activity. The group began photographing the incredible structure after gaining access to the entire complex. I want to go up to a couple of them up top. Um, with 18 something. We're gonna go right here so we see this. Let's look out here on this side. Look. Like the painting underneath too. Look at the little painting under the light. That's cool. It almost fell over. I wonder what like these doors go to one time. Like what did that go to as a people? It doesn't open, babe. No. They believe they have discovered the first strange occurrence while investigating and have spotted a shadow figure who may have slipped by behind one of the curtains in the backdrop. Does something else live in the place? Number 14. This next video comes from the channel, Saya Official. This time the paranormal investigators decide to investigate a place of worship where there is a rumor of wandering ghosts. When they first started looking around, they noticed a person peeping out from behind a wall. Come on, man. शायद ये इधर बिल्कुल जिधर मैं खड़ा हूँ। हम्म हम्म। अब मेरा कदम देखिए ना तो कार। ये वे शायद रोने की बात। वे शायद कुलम बिल्कुल रोने की आवाज आ रही है। ये तो एक भी नहीं है यार। अल्लाह वक़्बर यार वाहो लो वाहो ओए 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 निकल 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 शाहिद निकल शाहिद इधर इधर ये ही लड़े हैं ये देखें ओए शाहिद 
Then, while they were searching more, they discovered something standing behind a door. The sounds escalated, and the sobbing voices could be heard considerably more after they vanished. Is this some kind of hoax, or something else? Number 13. This next recording was uploaded on YouTube by a user named The Crypto Crew. A lady reported seeing three possible Bigfoots while trekking along a route in June 2012 as she and a buddy were climbing Mount Lafayette in Ohio. In the shadows of a maze of trees, she caught sight of three enormous black figures. As she and a buddy hurriedly left the area, she took a few shots since she didn't want to disturb three sleeping black bears. The woman didn't realize the bodies had no resemblance to bears until she got home and uploaded the photos on the internet. So what do you guys think? Number 12. This video was uploaded on TikTok by a user named Adilebong628. In this heart-pounding clip, a seemingly harmless family excursion to the store takes an unexpected turn as a little girl filming her loved ones comes upon something that chills her to the bone. She witnessed an odd and transient apparition of a lady with a very unsettling presence emerging for a fraction of a second and then vanished as she tilted her camera back. The presence has the appearance of a regular human form, but the rapidity of disappearance. What exactly is that? A paranormal hoax or something else? Number 11. This next video comes from the channel Extinct File. Here, the video shows us an investigation that happened inside a funeral home where several of the residents had tragically died from drug overdoses. When he went to investigate, he overheard an odd growling and whispering. A los dos entró, ¿eh? Entró a los dos, güey. Entró a los dos, güey. No, 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 no. Está sonando, está sonando el sensor, familia. El sensor está sonando. Está aquí, está justo frente a mí. No lo puedo creer. El sensor, el sensor otra vez, familia. El sensor otra vez. Soon after hearing an odd voice, someone in the same room witnesses the door shutting off on its own. The motion sensor is seen activating even when no one is visible nearby as the investigator tries to communicate with any spirits that may be present. The doll figure is also visible moving on its own from the other set camera. So could this really be a ghost caught on camera? What do you think? Number 10. 
This video was uploaded on TikTok by a user named Experience Paranormal 5. Y otra vez empiezo a escuchar ruidos. Pero creo que es falsa alarma. Se está meneando esto o no? Es imaginación un poquito. Cuando estoy solo, escuché ruidos, pero creo que no. Nada, 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 no. Falsa alarma. The user has been tormented by a spirit staying in his flat for a long time, and he utilizes the site to post one of his hair-raising clips. We observed a pale face peeking out behind him in the mirror for a brief second. He looks about, no one is in sight, and the keychain appears to move weirdly on its own. Does he have a paranormal or explainable target here that they could capture? Number 9. This video is from TikTok channel Tristan8104. In Roberto's home, a strange atmosphere takes over as everyday objects defy their usual roles. Doors act independently, chairs dance with unseen forces, and shadowy figures cast an eerie presence. Regardez ce que je viens de filmer, la caméra de surveillance était posée là, en regardant les enregistrements j'ai réussi à capturer une dinguerie. Donc il faut regarder au niveau de la fenêtre qui est ici, donc de toute façon je vais vous mettre le zoom en deux étapes et au ralenti, au moins vous pourrez bien voir exactement ce qui passe.
Putain, il se passe des trucs là. Baisse le son, baisse le son. Baisse le son. Baisse le son, baisse le son. C'est quoi, c'est quoi, c'est quoi C'est quoi C'est quoi C'est quoi C'est quoi Roberto, once a bystander, becomes the unwitting lead in this spectral drama. Mysterious Mist adds to the mystique, an uninvited guest in Roberto's domestic theater. In the paranormal playbook, such manifestations carry hidden messages. Whispers in spectral tongues hint at an unseen narrative, cryptic dalliances in realms beyond the known. As shadows intertwine and misty specters perform their haunting ballet, an unsettling tension fills the air. The mist, a harbinger of mysteries, challenges Roberto to decode its spectral message. An ominous foreboding lingers, trapping Roberto in the ethereal enigma of his own haunted sanctuary. Ever faced unexplainable phenomena that left you questioning the reality around you? Number 8. This video is from TikTok channel Outdoor Duo Incan. In this video, we see the sadness of sudden goodbyes. Tim's family unravels a surprising revelation. Amidst nightly chess and secret affairs, Tim's mom shares a tale of their exploration into an abandoned office building's shadows. Inside, a ghostly former employee appears frozen in shock, a silent witness to the company's agony. The investigators watch as spectral shadows dance, capturing the melancholy of a workplace's demise. A ghostly encounter unfolds, revealing a man forever tied to his final chair. In the closure's twilight, an employee cherishing the last bits of the company 
faces an eerie twist. Faucets run dry, leaving ketchup-stained hands to find solace on a cold shower door. The spectral journey goes beyond fancy, validating in subtle details. As shadows dance and faucets stop, spectral truths emerge, telling a tale of corporate downfall and lingering ghostly imprints. In the supernatural narrative, every departure leaves spectral footprints echoing through memory's corridors. Ever faced an unexpected farewell, leaving behind a haunting presence? Number 7. This video is from the YouTube channel Ruben Mockery. In this video, we see in 2010, a camping trip turned eerie for Trevor, Jeremy, Tom, and a camera bearer in an American forest. What started as marshmallow indulgence took a chilling turn when a mysterious figure with glowing red eyes emerged. The forest's obscurity cloaked this being, blending seamlessly with the night. He's somewhere, there's his leg. He's somewhere in that vicinity. What would we do with the hot dogs? I need some hot dogs. I'm hungry. <laughs> I could go for some marshmallows, dude, for some awesome. It's our campfire, Centronella candles. Uh, you can't focus on those. I'm still trying to figure out this camera, dude. It's brand new. It's in my boot. Not this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Trevor. Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy booted. <laughs> He's just the lake. It probably is. Man, that smoke is killing my eyes. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I swear, is this the sleeping quarters? Our candles. Yeah, the keep candles our keep, the keep our out. bugs off of us. No tent because we're men. No tent. That's right, men. manly men. We sleep beneath the stars. Discussing stars. That's right. Man, is that a full moon? Guys, what is that? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I think full it's... moon night. What's what, Bradley? Seriously, guys. There's something I, really, I seriously saw something over there. Dude, Tom, there did you was, not see it? Dude, there whatever. was something there for like two Jeremy, minutes. Trevor. Dude. It was over there. Dude, whatever, man. Man, oh, dude, put some more wood on this fire. I am not going to sit here Weird. with this like, thing. Dude, I'm telling you, it was, like, it was there what? for like, like two seconds. Dude, it was probably over there. Yes, the right over there, there where you're shining the light in there's that area. Over there. Ever seen before. Yes, there was, yeah, Jeremy. But the Tom and I both saw it, dude. It was probably a squirrel. It was nuts. I don't know, man. It's not a squirrel. What did you say it was a squirrel? Okay. Okay. Woodland creature. Okay, what squirrel would look like that, Tom? It's an animal. We're in the woods. Go figure. Hey, Tom. Guys. What? Oh my God. What is that? That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. Oh. What is it? I don't know. Oh crap. Oh my God. Oh Get in, get in, get in, guys. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, okay. Where's, where's the keys? I don't know. Seen it. Where's, where's Tom at? Where's Tom? Where's Tom? 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 Alright, dude. We got the bomb. Came over there. We'll come get you, dude. Tom. Tom. Guys, I'm over here. Are you alright? Thank God, are you okay? Dude, I think I lost it. I don't know. I think it's right behind me. I'm not sure. What is it, dude? What is it? I don't it? know. I you need to jump. Come on, get in here with us. You'll have to jump. Come on, get not jump. This is too high. Dude, jump, if you don't jump, jump, jump it's going to get you. You have to jump. It's like, oh my gosh, ah! huh. Come on, Tom. Come on, swim, man. Swim, Tom. Swim. Swim. Oh my god, did you see it? No. No, we've not seen it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is. Dude. What is. Oh my gosh, dude, did you see that? Thank oh my god, you're too bad. It's the same thing we've been seeing. That's it, dude. That's it, man. Let's get out of here. Let's find out what that thing was. Oh, oh, dude, it's another turn up there. Look. Oh, Sorry, man. Why does it keep turning? We gotta go, like, right now. Oh my god. Now, what? there it is. Did you see it? Do you see it? No, no. Hold on, dude. If we get this on camera, <laughs> there it is. That's what? it, dude. It, why does it keep chasing us? I don't know. Oh my goodness, that is. Dude, oh I my god. about to jump in the water. Are you serious? Oh, no. oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Oh, my what gosh. the heck? It's chasing the boat.
The eerie gaze escalated into a pursuit, the entity, glowing mysteriously, closing in on the bewildered campers. In a panic, they raced to their boat, glimpses of the pursuer haunting their escape. Unfortunately, Tom fell victim to the malevolent force, leaving the group in disarray. The narrative leaves viewers questioning the encounter's authenticity. Whether a college project or a genuine supernatural incident, the video highlights the fragility of serenity in the face of unknown entities lurking in the night. What would you do if an eerie figure with glowing eyes pursued you in the woods at night? Number 6. This video is from TikTok channel Smug Puppy. This video depicts Carl's home. A spooky saga unfolds with a teddy bear defying gravity, sparking disputes. You haven't noticed yet? No, I'm nervous. <laughs> no, no. Look up. What the f? <laughs> what the f? Dad, that's my f teddy. Wait. No, because you might pull the ceiling through. That's my teddy. Look. How do you know it's your teddy? Because I mark it with a K and a F. <laughs> what are you laughing for? I'd like to walk on up into one of your tents. You need to see the video. It's a portal. Yeah, why can't I pull it down? Because it's stuck. Four upstairs and the ceiling down here. You might pull the whole ceiling through. Or it might be a big bloody hole. The house isn't enough. Ringy. And then that was there. So it's kind of like stuck halfway in and halfway out. <laughs> How I've does never that seen it. I've never seen it before. Honestly, ever. Oh, they always fall, meld through, if you know what I mean. So, just leave it. Well, we've got the, Go got the GoPro filming. Okay, guys, so you get the idea. This is what it's been like all week. Hold up. Ready, watch. See? Nothing. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. I don't know if you saw earlier in the week, uh, we caught uh, something near the bin. It was doing this knocking crap. Uh, it sounded like the gate going. What? Hold up, I'll show you. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? Hold up a second. Now the toilet. I mean, it's not going. It just sounds like it's going. This is insane. The toilet still sounds like it's thinking. That is the gate again. Well, we've had the knocking sounds. And that has been driving his nuts. It can happen for hours, and next door neighbours get pissed off because they can hear it too. And then, uh, here we go. Sorry, guys, I can't keep doing this because. Despite efforts to prove authenticity, a floating box and other spectral antics persist. Alone, Carl becomes a disciple of spectral calisthenics, knocking doors, manipulating faucets, and encountering elusive apparitions. Legend speaks of a changed Carl haunted by paranormal affliction, shedding corporeal weight. The narrative ends, leaving foreboding in the once ordinary dwelling. What's your take on this eerie blend of supernatural disturbances in Carl's home? Number five. This video is from YouTube channel Paranormies. In hotel history, room 202 stands out as a ghostly mystery, tied to a bride's tragic tale from the early 20th century. Investigators Johnny and Jordy delve into its haunted world. K2 meters pulse, crystals hum, and ghostly footsteps echo. It's put, no, put it, yeah, there. Oh, there, they are. So they are there. Put, put, put it face down on the bed and we'll put this beside it. <clears throat> okay, so we were just listening to a story of what happened here. And then this thing just started shaking. And it's not slowing down. It's not coming to a stop at all. 
It's been doing this for a couple of minutes now. There's no air or anything on no. right now either. Like the, the furnace isn't even on. Did you hear that? Are you over here by this? Whoa, it's just slow down. Are you over here? Can you do something else? Can you touch one of us? Or can you make, can you make the bells in the closet go off? It, it's so strange though, because we've been walking around for a long time in here and our movements of us walking haven't made this thing move. Did it shock you? Dude, it like jumped. Really? I'm dead serious. It like, I touched it and then it like, it jumped off my finger. Really? That was fucking weird. I don't know, man. I'm freaking out. Is anybody here with us? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's movement. It's like it's like the board is moving. Dude, I'm freaking out my hands. Look at my hands. The whole board is moving though. Mm-hmm. It's like Oh the, my god. This might not be like stable enough. It's moving that way. Towards the window. Oh, something just touched my back. Is that you that just touched Johnny's back? And it said nothing did. Can you touch me? Are there any other objects in the room you want to play with? Down here. Where? The last. Perfect. Can you can you do that again? You. Are you evil? Oh my god, dude. Okay, we can stop. The weirdest laughing. I'm gonna stay and it almost stopped. You ready for us? All of you? Looks like we found you. It sounds like you're here. Do you want Jordan to get into bed next to you? Get in there. Okay. <gasps> Holy. It freaked out. Is that a yes? Can you do that again if it's a yes? It won't focus again. Yes, yes. That means yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Now that oh, it just stopped. What just it just stopped as soon as Dead I got on the bed. And it won't focus again. It, it this is out of control. So Yeah, I thought maybe it came closer to me. It won't focus on you. It will not focus on your face. We really, really, really want to communicate with you. If we do another uh, voice recording session, will you say something clearly? If so, light it up to yellow. If so, light it up to yellow. What is that? What is that? Were you just leaning up against the bed? No, no. Why did it sound like somebody's walking around underneath the bed? That's exactly what it sounded like. Okay, I'm getting over here. I am really, 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 I have goosebumps. That sound under the bed, I was just confused. Um, there was nothing by my foot that would make that kind of sound and I was leaning on the bed a bit and I thought maybe that just kind of it's like toppled something over or something, but that's not what it sounds like at all. It literally sounds something like, you know, like crawling under the bed like that. It was super freaky. You hear that? I look now nothing. In the same but, spot. Dude, I'm so scared that someone's gonna reach out and grab my foot from out of the bed. Something is happening under the bed or in that nightstand. What is that though? Were you hearing that before? It sounds like it sounds like this. Like... Yeah, I heard that. Under the bed. Yeah, under the bed. There's a candle under the bed. How? I don't know. 
is it okay if we stay the night here and we'll just leave in the morning and we'll leave you alone after that? So we'll just have a Oh. Okay. Thank you. We're really tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay. ready to sleep though. I'm I'm pretty tired that I could sleep. That's a, I think that's a wrap though. Yeah. That's a wrap for the night. Well, you agree? <laughs> okay. You know what's crazy though? What? Is I never expected to for anything like this. I, I thought we were gonna get like some tapping or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of like I guess we'll show it, like we'll have to play it what when we went for uh, downstairs and there was that tapping on the voice recorder. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think we were gonna get the spirit board's planchette moves eerily, responding in ways that baffle. Unseen whispers send shivers. Under the bed, mysterious sounds create an eerie atmosphere. Crawling, tapping, and unexplained motions intensify the haunting. The climax unfolds with a spooky agreement. An unseen voice consents to their stay, sealing a pact in the shadowy embrace of room 202. Post-encounter, the investigators grapple with the unexpected intensity, realizing the hotel's reputation may forever intertwine with the lingering phantoms. Ever encountered an inexplicable moment that left you questioning reality? Number 4. This video is from YouTube channel KVJ Show. This video depicts the eerie realm of the paranormal. A strange story emerges from the forgotten corners of cyberspace. Meet Jaybirds, a naive individual entangled in nighttime mysteries. So we've got the ghost footage from my room. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Vicky. What do we have here, Vicky? What we have is what was captured on our cameras that we ran for over 24 hours. If you look at the bottom left of your screen, you're going to see something pull the blanket, and you will see Jaybird wake up, pull his blanket, and something goes with the blanket as he pulls it up. So you can see me struggling with the blanket, and then on the left corner, you do see that white, whatever that yeah. is, it's Grab translucent it. and there's no other lights on in the room. Now we're going to watch it one more time here or a couple more times. You will see something pull it again and then watch. You will see something. You see two arms come up and hold on to the blanket and struggle with it as he pulls it up. Just so you know, I'm in full sleep right there too, by the way. Yes, you now, are asleep. This is zoomed in again one last time. Just watch. You'll see it pull. You'll see something grab on to the top and go with him. If you look closely, you can also see legs as well. Here is the second clip now. You this need to pay attention to Jason's midsection. First pops up. There right it there, is. Yeah. It almost looks like he's touching it. It stands up and then it sits back down. We're gonna do that one more time. It's gonna pop up. During sleep, unseen hands play with blankets. A ghostly touch defying logic. Limbs, both transparent and intangible, 
choreograph a spectral dance. Digging into the paranormal, an analyst named the lady scrutinizes the unearthly spectacle. Jason, lost in dreams, becomes an unwitting star in a ghostly show, his midnight escapades exposed to ethereal eyes. Amidst the spectral intrigue, the basement calls. A new construction conceals a sinister secret, a fancy toilet turned conduit between the mundane and macabre. In the labyrinth of supernatural architecture, a chilling tale unfolds, blurring the line between the real and the spectral in the basement's dark embrace. Ever found yourself caught in a ghostly dance while lost in the realm of dreams? Number three. This video is from TikTok channel Josh Robillard. In Solitude's grip, a man battles a spectral torment from an invisible spouse, flinging clothes with untold grievance. Amid loneliness, a doll with glowing eyes warns of impending misfortune. As the man sleeps, unseen forces host a spectral soiree, transforming the ordinary into a clandestine revelry. Max, abandoned and alone, unwittingly hosts paranormal disturbances. Belongings shift, a ghostly mask appears, and eerie laughter punctuates the night. Unexplained phenomena blur reality, leaving Max uneasy. Mysterious events defy explanation. Objects move with spectral intent, and an eerie mask materializes, shrouded in dread. The line between reality and the supernatural blurs, unsettling Max. Skeptics may question the chilling disturbances, but a sinister mask emerges as evidence. 
the lingering question, is this paranormal or an orchestrated charade? The spectral dance continues, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of the unknown. Have you faced unexplained phenomena, questioning the thin line between reality and the supernatural? Number two. This video is from YouTube channel Squaring Dat Circle. In this video, we see that in the wild, genuine cowboys on a hunting expedition sought refuge in an ancient tree as night fell. Unaware, eerie moans echoed within. Well versed in wilderness ways, the quartet grappled with unexplained responses from the colossal tree, whispers hinting at an unnatural sentience. The forest, shrouded in nocturnal mystique, became an amphitheater of dread. Maybe having to shoot our way out. You're just sitting there, all of you are, are kind of petrified. You're just waiting to, for the walls to break open and something reach in there and grab you and hold you up and waiting for the light to break in the cracks of the walls and never happened. That's the strange part because you hear it over there, but you don't see it over there. As time went on, 72, the same thing, you know, whatever it was we thought might be trying to scare us out. Maybe this is their territory, but. I, we don't know. We can only guess at why they were doing what they were doing and uh, that they were observing us, that's for sure. I don't want to hear a single person, and I'm not attacking anyone here. I don't mean single people. I don't want to hear... The cowboys, within their makeshift shelter, felt anxiety grip them as unseen forces orchestrated a disconcerting serenade. Amidst rational skepticism and primal fear, they realized the haunting sounds originated not from Bigfoot, but the colossal tree itself. This chilling encounter prompts contemplation of mysteries within nature's embrace. Could ancient trees harbor secrets that defy mortal understanding? What untold mysteries might be concealed in the depths of the forest? Number 1. This video is from TikTok channel A Kid and Her Pack. This video depicts a weird journey. Our confused narrator struggles between couch and bed, making a futile call to escape destitution's grip. A pink girl? No. You can't. No, I can't see the pink girl. Is she Chinese or Oriental? Chinese. Pardon me? Chinese or... Chinese? Party toilet. Harder. They're having a party? What kind of, is it a birthday party with kids? Who, who's having the birthday party? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? There's one. 
Archibald Taylor Doyle's. Meanwhile, an elderly grandmother hallucinates in a hospital room, dancing with spectral visions. The video reveals a melancholic truth. The grandmother, a spectral figure navigating the twilight between existence and departure. It prompts eerie contemplation on sanity's fragility. What's your take on this strange blend of reality and surreal musings? And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. This has been The Hunter, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep it creepy.